Deep beneath the icy surface of Antarctica, a new scientific mystery has emerged, one that could reshape the way researchers view the universe. A team of scientists working with the Antarctic Impulsive Transient Antenna recently reported the detection of unexplained radio waves coming from below the Antarctic ice sheet. These signals, steep in their angle and defying conventional expectations, were not part of the anticipated data. What began as a search for high-energy cosmic particles ended with an anomaly that remains unsolved and has since captured the attention of the global scientific community. The project, overseen by researchers including Stephanie Whistle, an associate professor of physics, astronomy and astrophysics at Penn State, was initially designed to study cosmic neutrinos. These particles are considered among the most elusive in the universe. Emitted by some of the most energetic phenomena in existence, such as black holes, exploding stars and gamma-ray bursts, neutrinos travel vast distances without interacting with ordinary matter. Because of this, they are extraordinarily difficult to detect, requiring sophisticated instruments and isolated environments to minimize interference. The choice of Antarctica as the base of operations was intentional. The continent offers a pristine environment for radio-based astronomical studies due to its lack of anthropogenic radio noise. With virtually no cities, communication towers or electronic infrastructure, Antarctica becomes a blank slate for radio wave detection. Researchers used large balloons to elevate their instruments approximately 40 kilometers, about 25 to 30 miles, above the ice. At this altitude, the equipment had an expansive view of the ice sheet and sky, allowing it to detect radio emissions from cosmic sources. However, what the instruments captured was not what the scientists expected. Instead of solely picking up signals from above, they also recorded a series of radio waves emerging from beneath the ice. More surprisingly, these signals came at steep angles, roughly 30 degrees below the surface. According to Whistle and her team, this trajectory should have been physically impossible if the waves were standard high-energy neutrinos. Neutrinos that travel such paths would have to pass through thousands of kilometers of rock, something that should have absorbed or deflected them long before they could reach the instruments. The implications of this discovery are far-reaching. If the waves were truly neutrinos, it would suggest that these particles had traveled immense cosmic distances, passed through the Earth and emerged from the ice unscathed. However, further analysis suggested that the detected waves did not match the profiles of known neutrino signals. To confirm this, the researchers cross-referenced their findings with data from two other neutrino detection experiments. These checks ruled out the likelihood that what they had found were neutrinos. This left scientists with a puzzle. If the signals weren't neutrinos, then what could they be? Some theorists have floated the idea that the signals could be related to dark matter, an invisible substance believed to make up most of the universe's mass. However, there is no concrete evidence yet to support this explanation. Dark matter remains a theoretical framework, and despite being central to many cosmological models, it has not been directly observed. While tantalizing, the idea that these radio waves might hint at dark matter is speculative at best. Whistle herself expressed uncertainty, acknowledging that no current model fully explains the phenomenon. One hypothesis is that unknown radio propagation effects could be occurring near the ice or the horizon, something not yet fully understood in existing physics. Such effects could cause radio waves to behave in unexpected ways, possibly mimicking the signal of particles emerging from below. Yet, even after investigating these possibilities, the team was unable to find a satisfactory explanation. This anomaly highlights the evolving complexity of astrophysical research. Instruments like the Antarctic Impulsive Transient Antenna are designed with very specific goals in mind, yet they often uncover findings that transcend the original intent. In this case, what began as an effort to track neutrinos may have opened a door to entirely new physics. It demonstrates how the universe still holds many secrets and how each discovery often leads to more questions rather than answers. The ability to detect radio waves from such steep angles is rare and continues to challenge the boundaries of established scientific theory. It raises possibilities ranging from unknown particle interactions to completely new cosmic phenomena. This discovery also underscores the importance of conducting experiments in remote and extreme environments. 
Antarctica's frozen expanse not only provides a quiet backdrop for radio astronomy, but also shields instruments from much of the background noise that would cloud such experiments elsewhere on Earth. In time, further studies may help unravel the source of these signals. Perhaps additional missions using more sensitive equipment or experiments conducted in collaboration with other observatories around the world will offer the missing piece to the puzzle. Until then, the radio waves rising inexplicably from beneath Antarctica remain one of modern science's most intriguing open questions. What is clear is that this detection reinforces the value of curiosity-driven research. While scientists did not find what they were initially looking for, they uncovered something possibly even more important, an unexplained signal that could hint at phenomena beyond current understanding. Whether it leads to new physics, evidence of dark matter, or a better understanding of how radio waves interact with ice and rock, it adds one more layer to the vast and still largely mysterious narrative of the cosmos. In the expansive and frigid landscape of Antarctica, a realm reserved for only the most courageous and daring explorers, a well-kept secret lies dormant, yearning to be unveiled. Recently, an experienced pilot with a penchant for archaeology found himself immersed in a fervent search on his computer, meticulously examining Google Earth in hopes of unearthing traces of concealed riches and ancient civilizations. Little did he realize that his quest would unfold an extraordinary narrative, the revelation of four ancient pyramids discreetly situated along the shores of Antarctica. This astonishing discovery not only captivated his adventurous spirit, but also beckoned the world to ponder upon the allure shrouding these age-old structures. Through the lens of history and mystery, a captivating tale emerges, weaving the threads of past civilizations and modern-day intrigue, inviting us to delve deeper into the unfathomable mysteries that Antarctica continues to unveil, holding within its icy embrace secrets that defy the constraints of time and imagination. The individual who initially shared the images expressed a deep-rooted fascination with ancient societies and the enigmas shrouding bygone eras. Over the course of many years, he dedicated countless hours poring over maps, scrutinizing satellite images, and delving into historical documents, all in a relentless quest for clues that could potentially unveil the mysteries of vanished civilizations. It was amidst the solitary hours of one of his nocturnal research endeavors that he chanced upon a startling revelation, an array of peculiar, pyramid-like formations concealed within the frigid expanse of Antarctica. This unexpected discovery ignited a spark of curiosity within him, prompting an intense exploration into the secrets veiled by the icy terrain, opening up a realm of possibilities and prompting a journey into the unknown depths of history. This recent breakthrough has sparked intense speculation regarding its nature and origin. Near Antarctica, there are four imposing pyramids that have intrigued many observers who note their striking resemblance to the renowned pyramids of Egypt. This resemblance has led to conjecture that these Antarctic structures might have been constructed by ancient civilizations. While pyramid-like formations are not a novel phenomenon, some of the oldest known pyramids, situated in Egypt, have been estimated to have been built over 4,000 years ago. However, this timeline has faced challenges from various quarters, suggesting that these colossal edifices could have been erected by advanced societies predating the Egyptians. Supporting this notion is the example of Teotihuacan, a site hailed by historians as older than the Aztec civilization, leading to uncertainty regarding the culture or civilization responsible for its creation. The existence of these mysterious pyramids in Antarctica has reignited debates on ancient civilizations and their global reach, inviting us to delve deeper into the mysteries of our past. Deep within the realms of mysterious structures lies a fascinating topic where a similar concept is at play. Observers have remarked that these mysterious formations do not bear the natural semblance of mountains, but rather exhibit a deliberate arrangement that appears uncannily linear. Upon the dissemination of these images within online communities dedicated to the exploration of ancient constructs and relics, even the seasoned members were left perplexed by the discovery. Diverse opinions emerged among the group, acclaiming these visuals as among the most striking depictions of submerged pyramids ever encountered. The collective discourse surrounding these findings hints at a profound mystery that continues to captivate the imagination of those intrigued by the secrets hidden beneath the waves. 
As word about the groundbreaking discovery circulated, the man was overwhelmed by a deluge of inquiries from inquisitive individuals and adventurous seekers hailing from different parts of the globe. While some viewed his assertions with doubt, attributing the pyramids to mere geological formations or visual tricks, others were captivated by the prospect that these edifices might harbour the answers to unveiling the mysteries of Antarctica's ancient history. This widespread interest not only highlighted the global fascination with the find, but also underscored the varying perspectives and interpretations surrounding the enigmatic structures within the Antarctic landscape. The influx of varying opinions and reactions served to emphasize the complex and multifaceted nature of the discovery, sparking debates, discussions, and further investigations into the true nature of these anomalies. One individual expressed skepticism regarding the attribution of certain underwater structures as pyramids, arguing that they bear little resemblance to traditional pyramidal shapes and appear more akin to natural formations that incidentally adopt a pyramid-like configuration. Specifically, there are doubts raised about the accurate classification of these underwater sites as conventional pyramids, as their appearance aligns more with naturally occurring features reminiscent of pyramid shapes. The intriguing resemblance of this image to the iconic pyramids in Egypt, especially when observed from an aerial perspective, sparks curiosity and contemplation. While this similarity does not inherently suggest extraterrestrial origins, it does hint at the possibility of a nearby forgotten civilization opening doors to a realm of captivating speculation and inquiries. Delving further, the discovery of such parallels between structures raises profound questions about the historical narratives and potential interactions among ancient civilizations. This unearths a realm of fascination, inviting exploration into the mysteries of the past and the puzzling connections. Taking precise measurements provides valuable insight into the dimensions of these four structures, revealing that they collectively span a total of 7,100 meters, or 23,000 feet. Scientists and historians have asserted that Antarctica has never been home to civilizations, casting doubt on the possibility of human habitation in the region. However, whenever new findings emerge that challenge this belief, it prompts a re-evaluation of the prevailing notion. Despite the prevailing consensus that Antarctica is void of any historical civilizations, the emergence of new evidence often sparks inquiries and skepticism regarding this idea. In the realm of exploring Antarctica, a differing perspective has been put forth, emphasizing the importance of adhering to factual evidence over mere assertions. Specifically, attention is drawn to the existence of four substantial pyramid-shaped structures located in close proximity to Antarctica. The proposal advocates for the dispatch of a research team to investigate these structures comprehensively, aiming to ascertain their significance. The rationale behind this expedition lies in the belief that even if the outcome yields no substantial discoveries, it will provide a definitive answer, thus adding to our knowledge base. Unveiling an intriguing juxtaposition, the discourse challenges the notion that these structures cannot be termed pyramids due to the absence of historical evidence of human habitation in Antarctica. It argues that such assertions hold weight only until new discoveries come to light. In the dynamic landscape of Antarctic exploration, the continuous unveiling of previously unknown aspects underscores the need to embrace unconventional thinking. The narrative encourages a proactive approach, advocating for a fearless pursuit of knowledge that transcends conventional wisdom and embraces the prospect of groundbreaking discoveries. This comprehensive exposition advocates for a meticulous examination of the mysterious structures near Antarctica, embodying a spirit of intellectual curiosity and a dedication to unravelling the mysteries of this vast and enigmatic continent. Scientists just discovered that Earth has a mysterious heartbeat every 27 million years. Research findings regarding ancient geological occurrences indicate a recurring pattern of geological processes on Earth approximately every 27 million years, resembling a steady and gradual heartbeat. The series of interconnected geological phenomena such as volcanic eruptions, mass die-offs, shifts in tectonic plates, and fluctuations in sea levels progress at an extraordinarily gradual pace, following a 27.5 million year pattern of dramatic changes. Fortunately, scientists predict that we are granted approximately another 20 million years before the occurrence of the subsequent cycle of these significant events. 
This extended timeline offers us a considerable span to prepare for and understand the implications of the forthcoming geological pulse. Many professionals in the field of geology, including Michael Rampino, a respected geologist from New York University and the principal investigator of the study, hold the belief that geological occurrences unfold in a seemingly unpredictable manner. Their research presents compelling statistical data supporting a consistent cycle, indicating a correlation among these geological occurrences rather than mere chance. This identification of patterns offers valuable insights into the underlying mechanisms governing these events, highlighting the interconnected nature of geological processes. The research team meticulously examined the chronological timeline of 89 extensively studied geological occurrences spanning over a period of 260 million years. The researchers detailed a range of occurrences in their study, encompassing instances of both marine and non-marine extinctions, significant ocean anoxic events, continental flood basalt eruptions, fluctuations in sea levels, worldwide bursts of intraplate magmatism, and periods marked by alterations in seafloor spreading velocities and plate rearrangements. The findings indicate a consistent correlation among global geological occurrences, showing a pattern of recurring cycles with an approximate duration of around 27.5 million years. Geologists have long devoted their efforts to studying a potential recurring pattern in geological phenomena. In the early 20th century, scientists proposed a 30 million year cyclic pattern within the geological record. Later, in the 1980s and 1990s, Researchers analyzed the most accurately dated geological occurrences available at the time to estimate a range for the duration between these recurrent geological pulses, settling on a span of 26 and 30 million years. This ongoing investigation into the periodicity of geological events highlights the meticulous and enduring nature of geoscientific inquiry, aiming to unravel the mysteries of the Earth's dynamic history. The current status appears to be well aligned. 27.5 million years aligns closely with our projections. A research article released towards the end of 2020, authored by the same individuals, posited that this particular 27.5 million year milestone coincides with periods of mass extinctions as well. The scholarly publication from 2018, authored by a pair of academics from the University of Sydney, delved into the intricate relationship between Earth's carbon cycle and the movements of its tectonic plates. Through a meticulous analysis, it was determined that the duration of this cycle spans an estimated 26 million years. In the most recent study conducted by Collins, it was elucidated that a significant proportion of the events examined by the research team possess a causal relationship, indicating that one event leads to the occurrence of another. Consequently, among the 89 events scrutinized, several are interconnected. An illustrative example of such interrelation is the occurrence of anoxic events triggering marine extinctions. Acknowledging the previously mentioned point, he further remarked on the apparent cyclical pattern spanning 26 to 30 million years, indicating its substantial existence across extended temporal scales. However, the fundamental cause behind this recurring cycle remains ambiguous and warrants further investigation. This periodicity, although evidently observable, poses a puzzling question regarding its underlying mechanisms. Recent studies conducted by researcher Rampino and his research team have put forth the notion that comet impacts could potentially be responsible for significant events in Earth's history. The concept that Earth may possess a geological heartbeat could potentially be attributed to a phenomenon that is more intimately connected to our planet. The synchronization of periodic shifts in tectonic activity and climatic variations could stem from either geophysical mechanisms linked to plate tectonics and mantle plumes, or possibly be synchronized with celestial rhythms tied to Earth's orbital motions within the solar system and the Milky Way, as detailed in the research conducted by the team. This intricate interplay between geological processes and environmental fluctuations unveils a complex interconnection that not only governs the evolution of landscapes, but also sheds light on the intricate dance of Earth within the cosmic realms.